name is Alan Sternberg. I'm the executive chef here at Cerulean in Indianapolis. Our restaurant is farm driven, it's contemporary, it's American, it's providing good food to our guests. We buy from several local farms, we buy from Gunthorpe, we buy from Dewig in Heartland, we buy from Annabelle Garden, we buy from Silverthorne, we buy from growing places here in Indy. So we use a lot of local product to really highlight the season, the freshness, and, and the taste of our ingredients. We had some pretty good tomatoes relatively early. They grew them hydroponically, so we wanted to do a tomato salad. We wanted a raw tomato salad. We wanted to, you know, skip the mozzarella and the basil and you know, just really focus on the tomato, the natural acidity, the natural sweetness of it. What we did was we did our tomato tartare dish because we wanted something interesting. We, want, we like the idea of making something that's normally meat focused and then making it vegetarian or even vegan if we need to. We de-seed the tomatoes, we peel them, we chop them up real fine just like you would a normal tartare and then we, we actually vacuum press them so they pop a little more red so they look more like meat. And then we, we garnish it with normal beef tartare garnish, so capers, shallot, garlic, olive oil, a little bit of vinegar, and then toss it all together. I've gotten good feedback when I go talk to guests. I just want them to taste that Indiana tomato, that, that fresh produce. The second dish was a Gunthorpe Farms roasted chicken. We took basically the breast and thigh and rolled them together in the skin. We took this great Gunthorpe chicken, we bread it lightly, and then we just saute it simply. And then we finished the whole dish off with some fresh spring vegetables and a parsnip puree and a chicken jus with a little bit of red wine. The chicken we're getting is from Gunthorpe Farms. It's got great flavor. It's got more flavor than commercial chicken because it's, it's their dietary habits. It's you know them being able to move around. It's, it's the chicken being able to use its muscles and not being contained in a tiny little cage. So the last dish we did was a summer squash risotto. We use summer squash, zucchini, wild mushrooms that we get from a local forager. Hearty enough to fill people up, but yet at the same time be flavorful and remind people it's summer and still be light enough to, to eat while it's warm out. It's just summer in a bowl, so we finish it with herbs and flowers and a quail egg. The quail egg gives a little bit of richness and really kind of makes the whole thing pop a little bit. Indiana really inspires me and I'm really excited to be here. Because I'm from here, it, it's because I've, I've lived here my whole life and you know, seeing how it's all changed and being in the dining scene and, and watching the restaurant scene grow and watching how people's attitudes towards food has changed. It's, it's great produce, it's great meat and poultry and whatnot from our purveyors. So there's a lot of things that really inspire us.